Hi guys, Steve here. Um, today I was installing my UHF antenna base on my bull bar and um, as I was installing it, the coax fell out. And uh, I had a troll around on the internet trying to work out um, how to pull these apart. Um, couldn't really find anything and I finally worked it out myself. Anyway, at the bottom here you've got the nut where this actually bolts into the bottom of the bull bar base there. So obviously your coax goes through there. Then you've got the spring. I'll leave this down for a sec because I'll show that later. Then you've got the spring base for your antenna. And again, your coax goes up through here. So as you're putting it all back together, they feed it through the nut, then through the base, then through there. Now the tricky bit for me was trying to work out how to get this section apart now. Obviously the aerial is easy enough, you just undo it. And the part that I found difficult was, you know, how do I get the coax up into here and solder it to the end? And initially I pulled this bit off here, which unscrews. And uh, you can see I've sort of gotten close there with my multi-grips trying to undo it, thinking that it was threaded. It wouldn't budge, so I gave that idea up. And then I removed this nut here, which sits on where the antenna threads. Hopefully that's clear enough. And I noticed that there was an O-ring sitting just there, obviously for a little bit of waterproofing. So I popped that O-ring out. Uh, let's see if I can do it easily without spinning half an hour like I did last time. Obviously, if you cut it and need to replace it, get the same size O-ring. So there's the O-ring there. Just take that off. And then I just started undoing this with my my, um, my spanner. I sort of, you can see it's got a square edge on it. And I just put that on there and I started undoing it and undoing it and undoing it. Nothing really happened. Then I went back the other way and nothing really happened. And I just really couldn't work out how to undo it. I started pulling this and I was trying to undo it. Anyway, eventually I grabbed it with my multi-grips and I grabbed this section here and I was able to unscrew that. And um, that was the magic bit. Now once, once all of that is apart, what you need to do is you need to have your coax go up through all of that. So as I said, first you've got, you know, your nut. Um, then you've got the spring. And then after that, I'll just sort of put it all together so you can see it. After that, then you've got the base, which is just cosmetic. You don't even need to take that off. That can stay where it is. And then there's a hole just there, if you can see it. The coax actually pushes up through that center shaft, comes out the end. Now, the way this actually goes together is this piece needs to come out. And the way to make it come out is you unscrew it. Oh, dropped it. You unscrew it. And thanks to my son, Nacho's doing handy camera works. Hopefully it's not too wobbly. We're just doing it with our iPhone. So anyway, there's a thread there. I'm winding it back, winding it back to get it out. As far as I can go, you can see it's starting to pop out there. Get my little stubby screwdriver and push it out. There it is. And this is the actual part where the coax um, actually solders to. So what actually occurs is you need to have this base not touching the inner coax because um, that's the earth plane which is attached to the vehicle. Um, and this little separating washer is what separates the coax um, inner to the coax outer. And the way that it works is basically you push back the shielding onto this, you slide this little washer down over that. That actually presses the earthing earthing to the outer case and then this slides up into the middle and 
don't know if you can see here, but I only just realized that this actual section here is has been soldered. So I'm just gonna get my soldering iron now and I'll heat that up and pop it off. And then I'll strip back the inner core of the um, coax. I'll just do that now. Um, and what I'll do is I'll pause the video after I've done this, not quite yet. And uh, I'll show you me actually soldering it and putting it back together. So there's, there's the inner core. That's the bit that I wanna solder up to the end here. So obviously what had happened was in the process of me untwisting this to get it off the bull bar, somehow the solder broke and popped all out. But um, as I said to the life of me, I couldn't work out how to pull it apart. And uh, that's how you do it. I'll just um, unsolder this, put it back and um, show you that in a sec. So I'll just pause the video now.